A war owl swoops down from the sky and delivers a message for you. Okay. Red Prince, I am the one who has been hunting you, but you cling to life all too tenaciously. Okay. We must speak of the reason for your expulsion from the ancient empire, and we must speak of the Red Princess. Find me on the Nameless Isle at the Temple of Zor Stissa. In the presence of the goddess, let war and shadow meet. Hey, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to start the episode before I sell and stuff because we we finish in the library, but you're seen. We got a message of the shadow. So let me go sell and then I will continue from there. Okay, now we, we can continue exploring this one. The Archivist is dead. Let's read our journal. The Dark Presence decorate. Let the journal serve as the monument to true a red treasure in war guild on lies. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Secrets of the Blood Moon Island. Yeah, we have a billion stuff to check here. But like a billion books. <laughs> We are not going to do... yeah, probably a majority of them. So yeah, let, let me start checking by... One by one. Medical report. This is the most difficult case indeed. The demon who had attached itself to this particular soul fed on pain. There was no amount of suffering the individual could endure that did not cause the demon to greet the joy. In the end, it was safer to move human to commit both souls and the demon to the vaults. Okay, that was a pretty bad one. Yeah, we're missing a couple little quests that we can do to gather experience. I want to leave this island being level 16. Probably we can do it without any problem. In the... yeah, we have here like three big fights, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where are you? On slot book. Yeah, grab it. We will check everything because, yeah, th there are sometimes crafting recipes that I need. <laughs> I don't have all of them. I will read all the encyclopedias, but uh, if you want to stop and read, you can pass it. Uh, anything else there? Uh, read. What is this? Ornal him. Okay, nothing there. Uh, let's check out these ones. We will talk to a librarian at the end. So don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll read all the ghosts. <laughs> but we will talk with him at the end. Anything else? What is here? I don't remember. Uh, over here. Can get the books. Oh yeah, yeah we have crafting. Nothing. Yeah, we, we need to gather all the loot that we can. Because so, some of the loot is important and other one is like just trash. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's important to check everything out. If you give me a crafting recipe, I will be super happy. What is this? Medical report. Is the same one? Another lost cow. The demon has emerged so completely that it holds that it is hard to tell which one is speaking. Okay, we have living edge and the red. Nothing. Another one. Okay. And we have anything else here? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Mm, let me grab the teleport. Do we have any chests or stuff here? I remember we have a hiding chest over here. Okay. Let's continue exploring this area. Let's check everything before we continue and talk to the librarian. Yeah, we are almost there. Here. Grab everything and right here. This should be the last one. Another medical report. Okay, open the book, read the description of to exercise a child. It seems that the priests were quickly overwhelmed by the demon with it. They will be never able to find even an echo of the child's soul. No. Okay. So that one is pretty bad. And here, okay, we already check everything. Can you touch this one? No. Okay, let's talk to the library, the archivist, sorry. Me drop a safe. Oh, okay. The spirit urgently passes a hand across the spines, whispering each tome's title as she comes across it. No, no, it isn't him. This is impossible. You, my brother, help me find it. There is little time. Play and load the point to shell. 
There is a copy of the Spirit of the Spectre at Jarrah here. Meh. Tell she must be confused with someone else. Okay. Say you can be no help if, if you don't know what you are looking for. This is no time to feign ignorance, my friend. The doctor's arrogance may end us all. He has released a dark presence upon us. It must never sing the taming. The hymnals must be destroyed. And yet, I see no sign one was ever here. You must help me look. Her hands fanned furiously across the tomes like a pianist's upon the keys. Uh, tell you like to know more about this doctor. Yeah, this is Dr. Daeba. We are going to know about him. You must be feverish, though I wouldn't be surprised. Dr. Daeba was surely ill to risk all that he's built here. Now be silent. Your questions vex me, and I have no time for idle chatter. She hushes you with an index finger held to your lips and continues her search. The only way. Okay, I want What's to. What's this? Yeah. Okay, I here. found something. So you have the secret. Remember, remember the the key that we just got from the arena that uh, that we didn't know what opened. I opened this chest. I can feel my source power. I can feel my source really? power draining at one? the merest touch. Tenebrium is truly a material of the void. Hey, can I grab this chest? So you can grab that chest. I will grab it in a moment. Let's grab the Nishan blade. The transparent artifact glimmers of its own accord, as if conducting light from another world, another plane of living. As your hand nears it, it shivers and speaks. Your head perks. You know these words. This is the language of demons. Few have heard it spoken aloud. Connected as one. The past and the present slave. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. Uh, try speaking with it. The object repeats the words it previously spoke. It has nothing more to offer. Okay, examine the object closely. It's a crystal blade, seemingly separated from its hilt. It's clearly of a kind with the object you recovered from the Surrey tomb. Okay, uh, grab it. The hilt of a blade, I do believe. But clearly no ordinary blade. Can I combine them? Uh, let me check. They're here. Yeah, the initial artifact. And the initial blade. Combine. Invalid command. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if Dark Queen can combine it. Yeah, and I thought that you can open this one. Key. Mm. I, can, I can feel my source power draining. I thought that you opened that one with the key you just got, is but truly it doesn't a material seem. of the void. Okay, so you can grab it right there. You're seeing the position I'm, and pull the chest over here. And you have a large witch potion that you will use for the end fight, and physical armor. <laughs> Yeah, it's a super good one. Okay, let, let me go and change my skills and let's open this chest. Uh, pick lock. Have to verify. Unlock. I can feel my source and you got a north teleport, okay? Touch. Another pyramid. How very useful. Okay, we are full of pyramids. So let's get out here and let's continue. Uh, are you going to... Can I talk to you again? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I don't have anything else to say to her. Okay, what else do we have here? The archives are, are weird on there. And here, I remember we have the forge. Odd old thing. The great forge is black with a sort of ancient work. Below the forge. Okay, silver bar. Let's grab that one. Because that one's unimportant. The Great Forge is black with a sort of ancient work. Inside is a casting for an ornate handle, flecked with glittering bits of silver. Where are the silver bars? Uh, you can craft. Have the silver bars? No. Right here? Silver bar, yeah. And you can craft. Nice. Yeah, silver lever shop. Wonder what makes it useful. Yeah, we, we will use it later. We have the metal forge over there. And uh, what do we have here? Okay, let's explore this part. I know you can loot a lot of this, yeah, a lot of these eggs and stuff, but then. Eh? Yeah, we'll get slime and a lot of corpses. Okay, here we, we have something. Corpses. 
Does every corner of this place hide grim secrets? Let's talk to the spirit of Brother Killer. The spirit of a man in priestly robes drifts from corpse Kaylan, to corpse, head bowed. He murmurs blessings over each of them. Merciful Seven, smile upon your fallen servants. Brother Ashwell, Brother Triskel, Sister Revria, usher them forth to the Hall of Echoes. He notices your presence. Sorcerer, this island is nothing but death. You hey. should leave. You want to know what happened here? The spirit utters a sigh. Even after having parted from his body, he retains a heavy heart. This island was once a place of learning, of healing. Corrupt things have long stalked the fringes of our world. Demons. We sought to help those who fell prey to the foul beasts. One of our number, a doctor, brought an invalid before us. An elven maiden who had become infested with some presence. It was powerful. Too powerful. So we sealed it and the poor elf it inhabited in our deepest vaults. Sometimes incarceration was the best we could muster in such dire cases. But the doctor who found her was determined to make a name for himself. He attempted a cleansing ritual, but he only served to strengthen the demon's grasp over the elf. The demon possessed him. Soon the whole island was overrun with monstrosities and bathed in blood. Our blood. It's a corrupt place now. No good thing has cause to be here. Ah, uh, about it. The statues guard the vaults where we kept those who were beyond help. No ritual could cleanse them of the dark forces that infested them, so we sealed them away. We did not use such cruelty lightly. There was no other choice. The statues guard the path. They will grant passage to those who sing from the hymn book, from the archives. Okay, I uh, wonder how he recognizes you as a sorcerer. I am well versed in such things. I, my brothers and sisters, study the wondrous, the arcane, the malignant. Easier to fight evil forces when you understand them. Our world abounds with demons and dark forces. Those who prey on the weak. They are a curse. But we were a scourge upon them. He casts another rueful look over the mounds of dead. No more. Okay. Uh, let me rest. Yeah, we're going to have a fight. In a moment. We need to be careful with that. Uh, yeah, let's let loot the place. Yeah, like I said, you get a lot of stuff, but... Uh, no, nothing that is super useful. You can just go and sell everything here. I have already 80,000. Probably I can I can buy all the equipment I need for the next... For, for the rest of my... Yeah, we need to kill these ones. Your name. But not now. <laughs> In a moment. Okay, we have we have enemies. Yeah, we have enemies. And you are how many? One, two, three. <laughs> I love yeah, I love these guys here. <laughs> this is like a bunch of meat. Uh, let me yeah. Let me drop a save. Let me buff myself. One. Two. Uh, let's get inside there. Go, oh, careful. Yeah, yeah there's spawn enemies, so you need to be careful with it. Retribution, I hate that. That one is the worst. And I'm dead. So, yeah, let's go here. Okay, you, you didn't go to retribution. Target? What? What I cannot teleport you? Okay, let me teleport you. Right here. Okay, that didn't work well. And here? Let me do a bloody ray here. And then let's do this one. Okay, you're dead. How much you have? What the fuck? You have 1000 armor. That, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, that's too much. 
Okay, let me do... Let me buff you a little bit. And then I will hide myself. If they all come here, I will use Corpse Explosion. Okay. Uh, let's do a Mosquito Swarm on you. Yeah, yeah, it's not enough. Even to take out his armor. Yeah. Okay, demonic suffering, and you're all here. Yeah, I gather all in the same spot, and then I will kill you all. That's a good one. Oh. And what are you going to do? Living on the edge. Oh. We need to be careful. Yeah, yeah, they are going to cut living on the edge, we need to be careful. Don't tell me you are going to follow Sir Laura. That would be awful. <laughs> yeah, you can heal him. I, I really... Blood suck. Oh no, you are hurting him. What? Uh, move? Yeah. If they are going to start casting spells and stuff, I don't want to be near them. And I need your turn. Hey, you can go with the Laura. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. I don't know, they're going to disengage battle. Yeah. Eh, uh, delay my turn. Yes. I'm going to use Corpse Explosion with them. If they disengage, it will be ten, ten times easier. Okay. Eh. Uh, Let me jump over here. And let me do. Your main. A haste. And I will do also. Yeah, a uh, skin grab. Yeah. Let me grab you. Grab you. And let me put you right here. Beautiful. Uh, let's do a corpse explosion over there. Why is this one not working? Uh, why are you not working? Okay, it doesn't seem to work like a corpse. So let's make a one. One here and yeah, my turn. Get those farm on you. I'll use can I use you as a corpse? Yeah, I can use. What I can use the other one, I don't. Know. Probably they already mess up with him. This one, you're dead. You're dead. You're not dead. Don't tell me you have. Why are you moving? Oh no, you're not dead. Come. Be careful with you. Uh, Three hundred. Do this. I'm ready. 200. 80. 124. Uh, how much I'm hitting for? Eh, let me check. Let me check. How much I hit for? 40. No, no that, won't, that won't hit. Kill him. Um, no, let, let me summon you. So you, you kill him. Glory is mine. The other ones, the other ones will take time to come, so. Do this, and probably when I kill him, they, they will disengage combat. Okay, man, kill him. Yeah, I knew it. 28,000 each one of them. Careful, 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 careful. They, they are coming back, they are coming back. Yeah, we need to be careful. Okay, now, <laughs> yeah, this is cheesing, but, but it's their fault for folding Sir Laura. This is not my, my fault, it's her, their fault. <laughs> What do you have here? Oh, you're, you're a cat, okay. Yeah, I was freaking out. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, let's get there. Again. Okay. Okay. 
You are going to be useful? Yeah, you are going to be useful. Okay, so let me jump over here. Let me grab you. And put you right there in front of you. Yeah, probably, yeah, I need to touch him. Right there. Okay, 700. Okay, 700. So let's do a corpse explosion. 1000. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Let me do this. Let me go down. Thank you for that. Unless. Just aim my turn. Can you. No. Let's do. Yeah, run over here. And you can attack this one. Bleeding. Yeah, now it's my turn. <laughs> You are both dead, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's a difficult fight. Uh, you, you, you need to position yourself pretty well. You don't want to get white. Okay, let's grab all these Accorset. They are being killing the Black Ring. Give me all of that. Give me all of that. And let's come here with the Black Ring. Yeah, they're giving me tons of potions. Yeah, grab only the and destroy those. Uh, yeah, we will talk to the Black Ring in a moment. Nothing. And you? Nothing. And you? Nothing. Okay, let's drop a save. And uh, what do you have to say? I'm 64%. The spirit of a Black Ring Defiler swings her ghostly blade at invisible foes. She turns and shouts to unseen comrades. Her voice is a guttural snarl, ruined by the effects of death fog. Go, find the druid. We need to find out what he knows. I'll hold these things off. She turns back and cleaves her sword through the air. It makes contact with something. The echo of a bestial roar catches your ear. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you die by the dogs, man. And the, the dwarf, yeah, the elven is here. <laughs> he's dead. Ah, uh, he's hiding there. Broken loot. Okay. And a backpack. Where is the backpack? Uh, open it, open it. Uh, what? Right here. It's not difficult. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not difficult. Okay, you got it. Okay, let me drop a save and let's talk to the dwarf, to the elf, sorry. The howler. How can you bear it? The spirit cocks his head and covers his ears, hoping to muffle screams that only he can hear. Eh, uh, give the spirit an incredible look. You don't hear any holding. Ah, I thought the ancestor's screams had drawn you here as well. They came to me on the wind, though I am not sure the devil's breath that perturbs the air here can rightly be called wind. It is no wonder it screams. The tree is barely more than carcass, blistered and charred. Its spirit wails into the ether, but I can't understand its words. Perhaps you can succeed where I can't. My heart breaks for our ascendant. Find a way to relieve its suffering and I will find a way to reward you. Mm, who or what is he exactly? A druid. There are too few of us. Elfkind finds value in flesh where memory lingers. I collect memories, yes, but I am more keen on bark and leaf. On the living breeze, not the sleeping past. Think for more information? He knows something useful? Well, yes. I have kept my ears to the ground, ghostly they may be. This is an archive, a library devoted to history and scholarship. There must be a record there of the elf that spawned the corrupted tree. I can't say where its entrance lays. The whispers that speak of the archive are all but drowned by my ancestor's grief. Okay. All right, when there. Eh, uh, open. You have something there? No. Nothing here. So we, we need to go again to the. Yeah, I don't remember this one too much. And uh, you have some anything? The spirit of the defunct. No. Yeah, we can go to the archives, but I, I don't think we have something there. Yeah. Uh, let's go there. So we already explored all that part of the island, all the north part. And let's go here. Where the status are. Or where? Because they are going to disappear every time you, you get close to them. Yeah. Hello. The flaming figure emits no heat, yet your skin seems to sizzle if you draw too near. 
Looking closer, you notice the statue's clerical garb, so similar to that worn by the ghostly priests bonded to the aisle, an unlikely coincidence. Uh, the hymnal you found described burning guardians such as this, seeing the melody right in within. The hymn twines around the effigy like a fine thread. Guardian burning bright with sourceful flame, abide the sacred call, reveal the godsless hall. Winged keeper, song doth bid you break. The priest shall scry the demon's lies, the chains await their captive. From stone to dust, from stone to dust. And they get destroyed. Okay. So we can get inside. Uh, yeah, open What's the hatchet. Now oh, let's get inside. This must be one of those forts. So we have anything here that we can loot? Yeah, I can loot a couple vessels. Like I say, you have lucky looter. If you have four character party, this place is like meh, heaven. Okay, and you remember the hatchet I grabbed? Uh, I don't know if I need persuasion. I think I need persuasion. I have persuasion how much right now? Probably two. Uh, persuasion too. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but let's give it a try. The spirit of a priest lifts his eyes to yours. When he speaks, he rasps as if there were dust in his voice. I watch the gate. Who goes there? Tell him he need not to worry about you. I watch the gate. I watch the one who must be watched. I watch the one who should be dead but can only be chained. I watch the gate. Tell him if there's anything living that cannot be killed, that you're... that you've... you've yet to meet it. You must leave. The gate is locked forever. The lock is broken. The key is thrown away. Remember the stuff that we just made with the silver bar? It's for here. The lever part of the lock mechanism seems to be missing. There is no prize with which to open the door. Try to fix it. Yeah, uh, and... He should be... Here in materials. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. Combine. And now you have it. So you need to convince him. I watch the gate. Who goes there? I watch the gate. Who goes there? Tell him if there's anything living that you cannot kill. You met to. You uh, must leave. The one who must be chained will take your soul. Do not let it speak. Do not let it speak to you. Thank him for the warning. I watch the gate. Hmm, I can open it. A presence accosts you. You cannot see it, yet know it is there. It is in front of you, then behind, then finally within. You hear its whispers. The master must teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. And then it is gone. Okay, and I can talk to the statue. From stone to dust. From stone what to dust. What happens if I eat you? Okay, l l let me let me grab this one. What happens if I eat you? Okay. Yeah, now I can open it. Now uh, let me. Yeah, let me buff, because this is going to be a fight. Yeah, we will need an animation to survive this. Get inside. Then I shall teach your final lesson. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You miss. Lightly. I'm ready. Okay, 300. I know you're bleeding, so that means I can put my incarnation over here. Uh, in blood. Yeah, and he has 3000, it is a lot. I think Arnecho should be able to throw her, and then I will be able to mess up with her a little bit. Okay, throw, throw the lady. Please. And then hit her in the ground. Okay, eh. Uh, I should be able to jump there. Yeah, let me jump there. Let me do a winter. Yeah, let me do this one. 1,700. And throw you to the ground. How much you're doing? 
You're getting for 300, okay, it's not that bad. Okay, and now I can hit you with... Now let me do a skin grab. And in fact... And another battle song. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hitting the floor. Dead. Easy peasy. So this was the supposedly the demon that you not going able to kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens sometimes. Hey, uh, let's get out here. And you have anything else here? I don't remember. Ah, yeah, yeah. When you say I can't kill something, but I may. My AI can kill everything, it's pretty crazy. So that's why you need the, the forge, the silver bar, and all the stuff. Okay, we got one. Uh, we have more. Blazing sculpture. Yeah, we have three of the three of them, so let's go to the next one. Now we have more dead black ring. Yeah, this is the last spot that you have to come. Okay. Because here is the demon that we are looking for. Yep. Let me talk to you. A trembling spirit wrings his hands, his eyes darting around the room. They settle on you. What are you doing here? What do you want? You mustn't linger. You mustn't remain. The spirit, tell the spirit you mean no harm. One must not mean harm to do it. Please. As go. how he goes, how he came here, hear himself. His hands shake. He clears his throat. As a priest, I had a patient. A dastardly demon held him in its grasp. The demon absorbed all his pain. In exchange for his soul. I was certain we'd only diminish the demon by overwhelming my patient with pain. I planned to torture the demon until it gave up its grip over the poor fellow. I began in earnest. But his cries pierced my heart. Even if the treatment could save him, I hadn't the stomach nor the soul for it. So I lied to the others. I told them there was no helping him. I told them to seal us down here, where he could do no harm, where I could guard his prison. Better one soul damned than two. Hey, Oz, if you can help banish the demon that plagues his former patient. This demon gluts itself on pain. Only the utmost torture would draw him forth. I couldn't do it. I refused to subject myself or my comrades to such... such barbarism. If you've the stomach for such an ungodly task, I won't keep you from it. Perhaps you could inflict the pain that's needed. But it is a devil's business. We broke the lever for the door when we locked him inside. So that none would ever attempt to free him. No matter what, the demon itself must okay. not be freed. The horrors he would wreak upon our world. So I need, I need to fix another... So the, it didn't work, it didn't work. Yeah, I killed him, but, but it didn't work. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, let me change a spell here. Check out the... Living on the edge. And uh, let me put. Oh no, I did. I used living on the edge on him. I don't know. Okay, let, let me take out yeah uh, that wish and let's put armor frost. So we open here. You can buff yourself again, and an armor frost. Yeah, this this will help me a little bit. Hey, go go go! What are you doing? Okay, let's get inside. And he's again a walking disaster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The armor frost is helping there. Yeah, I try, I try to to get it close to me, but I don't like that. Okay. Eh. Uh, die. Let me grab him and pull him like in my shooting. <laughs> this close air. I 
And you can cure that. Okay. <laughs> and when you kill him, yeah, the, the walking disaster appears. The sorry, the more of the trench mounted. It's okay. Mm, let me do this one. Yeah, your clipplet. Atrophy. You're going to spawn again? Yeah, I need to spawn again. So let me bring the blood. Yeah, you, you need to take them out. I don't know if you can save him. I, I tried with, with living on the edge. With this one, but I, I, I killed him. So, I don't know. Okay, uh, and let's put a blood top. Uh, yeah, let's do a mosquito swarm on you. 400. Yeah, when I get blood, uh, it hits, it hits normal. Go on. It feeds me. I. I. Okay, what? Yeah, you're dead. I couldn't save you, but I free your soul, man. Be happy with that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can save him because I tried, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, let's go to the last one. It's going to be this one. The blazing blue flame seems to burn your finger the moment you touch the stone. Yeah, we already did this. Winged key from stone. We already did that. And here is the the most difficult one to take. It's not a boss. It's something that yeah, it's a little bit difficult. I have there a sorcerer. The priest has scried the demon's lies. Hey, grab the sorcerer. No. Hey, grab it. No, no, no. Grab it. Okay, let's talk to him. The spirit of a young robed man paces the chamber anxiously. He sees you approach. A look of trepidation crosses his spectral features. Did did my order send you? To cure the child. Hey, say no boy send you and ask him if he's aware that he's dead. The spirit falters, momentarily lost for words. Finally, he musters a nod. I was hungry and thirsty for days. Then I rested. When I woke up next to my corpse, I thought I was delirious. I hoped I was delirious. But eventually, I realized what had happened. As well about the child he mentioned, she is in need of a cure. Some some form of demon seized her and nested inside her mind she cannot speak or move we did what we could to help but we could not risk provoking the beast within we can find her here until a way to safely remove the demon could be found it was my duty to watch over her but i was never relieved of that duty she has no family that we know of all she had was a pet cat that poor girl's life is drifting past her, thanks to that demon. So you are alive and, the, and you are dead and the cat is alive and you don't think that's abnormal. Okay. <laughs> Say that you want to try to help this girl? The cell is just over there. I can let you in. But are you sure you can help her? What are you going to do? Assure the spirit that you will figure out what to do, but he has to let you into the cell first. My brothers were confident they could help her as well. But they still had to lock her up here in the end. <sighs> but nobody else is coming to help, are they? I'll let you in, but promise me one thing. Whatever happens, take her away from this place. Far yeah, yeah. away. Okay, I will take her. The spirit can't help but smile. I knew you had good in you the moment I laid eyes on you. Come, I'll let you in. Take good care of her. Bring her somewhere peaceful. Don't disturb the demon within her. There's no telling what could happen if it breaks free. Okay, okay. So this one is a nice gun. Uh, can I do it? Yes. Where is the freaking cat? Can I talk to a cat? Get away! Do you hear me? Okay, the away. cat is an undead. I won't let anyone hurt my mistress anymore. Ah, uh, now that the cat has remarkable loyalty, even me, you're dead. Mistress saved me when I was a kitten. She took me in. Fed me and kept me warm. She deserves loyalty. I won't leave her side. Not until she wakes. 
Hey, how's the... My heart stopped beating and my flesh fell away. No matter. I'm staying here. You're seeing how coarse this is that the cat is alive. <laughs> Ask the cat for permission to approach its mistress. Intelligence persuasion. Tell the cat its loyalty is admirable, but loyalty alone won't help the mistress. The tension eases out from the cat's skeletal form. It sits. Go on. I'll be watching. Okay. Uh, can I free you? The young girl lies still and silent. I need to destroy this one. Okay. Let, let me drop a save. Uh, okay, I need to go down there or what? How much health do you have? Really, I can do this with these spells? No. Man, give me critical hits! Give me a second time. Do this one. Critical hit, critical hit. I don't know if you can not get critical hits in this. Okay, let me drop a save. I don't know what is going to happen. Okay, let's destroy this one. And let's talk to the little lady. The young girl lies silently on the floor, eyes open and staring. Her only movement is the tiniest rise and fall of her chest. Like the girl's hand in your own. Her fingers seem to grip you ever so slightly. Eh, uh, which persuasion? Softly tell her that everything's alright. There is nothing to be afraid of. The girl's grip tightens. A flush of color spreads across her previously bloodless features. She's grown stronger, strong enough to move, perhaps. Teleport to the Lady Benjamins. Okay, what do we got? Scoundrel for G. This can be this one. Uh, two wits, one hydrosophic, one summoner. Oh, this one is good. We lose two scoundrel. Have we gained two wits? Eh, uh, yeah, give me that one. Okay. Uh, you're going to the teleport there? Gone. I can still smell her. She must be near. I'll find her, no matter how long it takes. Okay, let, let me check here. Let me, let me check something. Eh, uh, scoundrel. Uh, what is my critical? Give me scoundrel too. Yeah, and I can lose control too. But I gain with sound. Uh, how much? Eh, it's not a big difference. Yeah, I, I don't know. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on my social media. See you in the next video. Bye bye.